Welcome back everybody. We're gonna move into checking the final drives on our 420E. Uh, you seniors have heard me harp and harp and harp about operations manual. So those of you that have never checked final drives, your first thought was, I need to look in the ops manual, figure out how to do it. I went and got the operations manual, I opened it up, and it has a section for checking the finals on the front and on the back. It tells you how to change the oil if we are changing them. We are not changing them, we're just checking the fluid levels right now. It gives us step-by-step -step directions on what to do. When we check the final drives and if, they, if the fluid level is low, or if we were changing them, we would have to add or put the correct amount of fluid in. Do not guess, do not assume it's gonna take whatever oil you were told, double check, make sure it's correct. Where do you find that? Operations manual. So now I go and I find viscosity check, or viscosity chart, and I come down here to front, all wheel drive, axle, and final drives. It tells me the oil type and classification. It says I need a Caterpillar TDTO, transmission drives, drivetrain oil. That's what that stands for. It's, your, it's not your job to say that 7-Eleven brand transmission oil is compatible with TDTO oil. <coughs> You will get the oil representative, if, you're, if you want to put Quaker State in, you will ask if that will cross and you can put that in. So now we know what kind of oil we need. It gives us one, two, three, four, five, six different oil viscosities we can go with. And we are gonna go with the area where our temperature range will match up with the chart. So we deal with degrees Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit around here. Right. So an SAE 0W20 is good for negative 40 below up to 50 degrees. If you're gonna run that in the summer, that is not gonna work. So you would compare and find whichever oil you would wanna use. So we would choose SAE 0W30 or SAE 5W30. And we could get away with 5W30 since we don't run it in the winter time. Quick little tidbit about your op manual, how important that is. Let's move into checking the oil on the front final. We're not gonna do the rears, but it would be the same. We jack the front tire up off the ground so we can position our plug to where we need it. If we were going to change out the final dry oil, the plug would be at the six o'clock position, all the way down, take the plug out, we would drain the oil. Once all the oil is drained out, we will move the plug to the fill position, which in the ops manual is going to be at three o'clock which would be horizontally across. Once we get that set, do not start putting oil in the machine. You need to drop the machine down. So it's the level. And then we can go ahead and remove our plug. So we're checking, so there is oil in there. Now, if oil started running out, that should raise a red flag, number one. 
that something's gotten in there, some water, or number two, whoever uh, serviced the final drives put too much oil in. Right, the spec calls for the oil to be level with the thread, bottom threads of the plug. And if you look close enough without my shadow, you can see oil resting in those threads right now. Now, when you were younger, I know your mom and dad told you not to put your hand on the stove. It's hot. You will burn yourself. And most of us probably put our hand on the stove. I know we have all been told not to stick our finger in there and feel for oil. Right? You're going to slice your finger on the threads. And that's not how you check for oil. So... We're good with oil levels. I got it stuck in the back of here. Put our plug back in. And we're good to go. We can move over and check the finals. All right. So any questions? Reach out to us. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks, everybody. We'll catch you on the next one.